What's going on, Trev 2323 here? I haven't been on for a while. Uh, kind of got, I don't know, brain freeze, not, not one, kind of lazy, I guess you can say, but uh, we're back with my 2002 Astro Van. And what we're going to do is uh, install a trailer hitch on it. Now, this right here isn't the e trailer hitch. I was looking to get one off of e trailer, and I know e trailer had the little things right here that went up with the bumpers also. This one right here got four bolts on each side to go on so I gotta clean out the two extra holes and uh, redo the bumper frame I'll show you about it but uh, this is actually a 6,000 pound uh, trailer hitch you know the Astro vans are rated to pull 5,000 pounds so it's kind of a little overkill but this came from a pick apart for $32 opposed to buying one brand new off the internet and this came off of a 2002 Chevy Astro van so I don't know if this is the actual factory one it looks brand new because I sanded it down, rust proofed it, and painted it. That's why it looks brand new. Now, let me show you where I was talking about on the bolts versus the e trailer. Man, this damn thing is heavy. It's gonna be a feat how I'm gonna get this up by myself, but I'm gonna attempt to. Okay, we're under the van right now. These are the two factory ones that I gotta remove that the. Uh, 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 bumper bracket goes to see the bumper bracket now I know the e-trailer one or other ones you have to unscrew these right here but this don't bolt on these this actually utilizes this one right here this one right here and these front two right here that's kind of rusted real bad right there but it uses these front two right here so I got to clean these out really good but if you can see they look kind of wet what I did is earlier this morning I came in with PB blast and I sprayed it in between these little holes right here and kind of on up in here to hopefully get these to loosen up some so I got to take these two off right here and clean out those front ones because it comes with four screws now these are an the O2 Astro Van are 15 millimeters but the ones that came with it are uh, 17 millimeters so let me see how hard this is I might need a breaker bar here oh my god believe it or not righty tighty lefty loosey I don't know if it was because I put the uh, PB Blast on early this morning. These things just loosened right up. So uh, before you do the job, go ahead and put some uh, PB Blast on. Like I said, I put the PB Blast in between the holes, in between here, and I just shot as much as it. Where's my finger? I shot as much as it in between here to kind of fill this all up. I think I used like a quarter can of PB Blast, but they loosened right up. I let it set for about an hour, hour and a half. All right, let me finish getting these off. All right, I cranked it like 50 bajillion times. You see it was just a little bit rusty right there. The rest isn't rust at all. So it just was a little rusty right there. But I really don't want to use the impact on it. I know it'll probably come out faster. But uh, I don't want to strip anything. Alright. There you go. Oh, let me see if I get in. Alright. There you go. I got them out. This does look a little bit cruddy in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean those out with a little round wire brush. And then see if I can get these other ones. You know what? Those actually look a lot more narrower holes than those holes. Look at that. Look how narrow that looks compared to that. Well, hopefully they fit. I got all the same size bolts here. I'm going to clean it out with the uh, wire brush right now. Okay, let me show you this. These were the ones that came off the hitch that was in the junkyard. And these are the ones that came off of it now. These are 15 millimeters with the washer attached to it. These are 17 millimeters with washers with little locks on them. So there's a lot longer, but they do look like the same size. So I'm gonna actually go try to put one in these holes that I just took one out of, just to make sure they are the same size. Cause if not, I would have to find uh, four more of these right here, but they look like they're the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these in there. Just in one of the holes that I actually took this off of so I know the treads are clean. I gotta clean out the treads on the other side. Alright, this is gonna be a little feat. I was trying to put in these screws. You see they're all clean and everything. That's a whole other thing I did with apple cider vinegar. Did a video on it. But these right here, let me show you the difference. These right here have straight edges right here and these are tapered edges to go in. These went in a lot smoother than these, but these washers are a lot bigger are a lot bigger now these right here will hold it in place so I'm gonna give it a shot with these but uh 
the holes that weren't used by these are really 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 either crudded or really thin so i'm going to try to clean them out right now but if not more than likely this is going to be a one-time shot i'm going to put these it's kind of almost like self-tapping ones into the holes that weren't used and then i'll shoot these with an impact into the holes that are already opened up this size okay try and get okay i don't know if you can see but when i took the screw off it doesn't look actually like it moved right here it looked like that's how it was put on but this right here is actually more pushed that way so it's going to be hard to get that screw on i don't know if i got to winch it and close this one a little bit more but the screw holes are smaller i was trying to get something tiny to get in there i don't gotta you know i ordered some wire brushes off the internet some small ones and they're actually like felt or something real soft so i'm trying to get in there to get as much crud out as i can it's kind of tacky with a, a whole toothbrush but uh i was hoping i could get it down in there but uh i might just go ahead and use them little felt they're supposed to be wire brushes but they're not really wire brushes so i'm gonna try to use them these are the wire brushes i ordered off the internet all different sizes i mean i could still use them but uh they're not really wired they're just bristle brushes so i'm gonna go ahead and just get all the dust out of it with okay some think how are you gonna get this up here on your own because they are actually pretty heavy this is how i did it put my jack underneath the centerpiece of it okay now see the screws are almost lined up i mean this is movable but the good thing is the way the bumper rack is it slides in and holds it up the way that is but here's the truck i had let me get to the other side okay the bumper i mean the muffler on this side is in the way so you actually have to put this side up over the muffler and then bring it back in place now actually the weight is on the jack but if i take the jack out more than likely it's still going to be held by this so i just got to finagle my way in the side to start the screws and once i get them started i'm probably going to do those first on the end then jack it up and do these back ones first and then the middle ones but more likely i'm gonna need a mallet to try to get this back in where it should be so the screws could go in so let me start putting these screws back in okay i'm gonna try to do it with a, a ratchet i'm trying to do it the same way i took it off but if not i'm gonna shoot it up there with an impact gun because i'm never taking it back off again and if need be i'll just tack weld it up there so i'm gonna hopefully i can get it the right way but if not it's going up there anyway all right this is me as my frustration sets in about 30 minutes into this now to get it started i used this one because all i had was a small tip in this one but it is started in there now and then to finish it off i'm gonna have to use the impact because in these holes that weren't used uh it barely got in there man it was it is that is a snug fit so i'm gonna use the impact to get it up there because like i said once it goes in it doesn't matter to me this thing's staying on here for the life of the vehicle so let's see what happens okay i got that one up in there i don't want to tighten it all the way down because i need wiggle room for all the rest of them to get everything on so i'm going to go ahead and start putting the rest of them on i'm going to do probably kitty corner of the back one over there next then the front one over there then the back one over here just like putting on a car tire but it's it is in there and hey, believe me it ain't going anywhere okay oh shit okay okay you will need an extension to get up in there between them i'll show you where and then i needed the impact to get the ones that weren't already okay i got the impact in with this one i still got to tighten it up a little bit more this one right here i'm getting on with the impact right now this is why you need the extension to get in between the bumper bracket and the trailer hitch is why you need the extension to get up in between there these i actually did with the electric drill and actually they gave me a little bit of problem just to start then they went in fine so i'm gonna actually tighten these up right now with just by hand and uh finish impacting this one on then tighten that one up by hand i'm kind of doing it like the tires go all the way around little by little but i wanted to show you why you need the uh extensions like i said these right here i actually wound up putting these on with the impact because it was so tight but i'm going to finish tightening this one up by hand and finish tightening up by hand i'm going to impact this one in a little bit more okay i'm underneath there last two i gotta get in this one keeps going in crooked i don't know why 
it looks like this right here is actually cocked out a little bit causing that one to go in crooked and that one I just got to find a better angle to get to get at it I got the exhaust pipe in the way so I got to get a better angle or a better extension to get at that one everything else is in tightened up uh, this one's gonna go in crooked as long as I can get it in that one is gonna go in easy once I get the angle I've been using the impact gun to get them further in as much as I can and then tighten it up with uh, by hand Okay, everything is on. Everything is tightened except this one right here. Uh, this exhaust pipe on this side was pretty much an ass kicker to tell you the truth. Uh, you do need the extensions to get in between these two right here. I've been doing that one with... Uh, 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 I tried my impact gun, but I got a Campbell Hashfield impact gun and a Harbor Freight compressor. So couldn't get that in so that's i venture to say it's about 100 pound psi total it's like, of course the harbor freight says 125 what you figure drop in line from the line from my basement to here so telling myself i need a bigger air compressor and a better impact gun because that would have been in already i'm doing that one by hand with a, a socket and a cheetah bar all right bye holy crap do i look beat up from hell or what I didn't lift my van, I did it on the ground. Uh, I lifted the hitch with my jack to hold it up. This is everything I needed to get that damn thing on. Uh, on the van itself, the original uh, muffler brackets were 15 millimeters. Uh, the ones that were the aftermarket ones that came with that trailer hitch uh, were 17 millimeters. Uh, I used two of the existing uh, uh, bumper bracket bolts and then two of the uh, ones that weren't used that are just there and the the well four existing two per side the existing ones actually no problem getting it in after you got it was a rough start I actually started it with my electric drill after that uh, got them right in the four other two on each side uh, ones that weren't used you know, on the internet, they show they clean them really nice and they screw right in. Fuck, forget that, man. I actually started it with the electric one again and then used the impact to get them in as far as I can. But like I said, I just got a Harbor Freight uh, compressor and a Campbell Hashfield uh, impact wrench. If I would have had a better air compressor and a better impact wrench, it would have been no problem. But since I had the basic stuff, I wound up having to use a breaker bar and an extension and that actual breaker bar with my arms was giving more torque than the uh harbor freight uh compressor with the impact wrench but anyways it is on that's a six thousand pound rated trailer hitch i already showed you how to run the wire i got some undercoating it's a 2002 chevy astrovan thanks for watching bye